Hello everyone. After the selection of research topic as we discussed in the last video, the next step is how to write material and method section of a research article. Before we move to material and method section, there are some steps a researcher should follow to reach to the material and method section. The researcher should work on the background of the research on selected topic. For this, researcher should consider the background of research in two ways, theoretical and empirical. For the theoretical background, it is necessary for the researcher to look into the existing theories formulated to explain, predict and understand phenomena or relationships. Existing theories can be helpful in a research topic that you have selected. Moreover, if the research topic is new in terms of theoretical contribution, then it is also okay. This may be the area that this research should contribute by introducing new theoretical contribution in the body of literature. When it comes to empirical background, the research should look into whether the previous empirical studies have worked on the research questions that you are pursuing too. What empirical findings the existing studies have provided and where is the research gap? For this purpose, the researcher should work on the statement of the problem, research objectives, research hypothesis and research objectives. The statement of the problem describes the issue that need to be research on. It will explain what problem this research would address and how this research will be beneficial. In other words, it should explain why this research is significant. Statement of the research problem helps the readers to quickly understand the purpose, significance and contribution of research. It should be kept in mind the statement of the research problem should be brief. However, the findings of research or detailed data should not be included in it. The research statement would serve the purpose of summarizing the current information. It should explain where the lack of knowledge or research gap is. It should explain the problem that need to be examined or investigated. In short, the purpose of the statement of research problem is to summarize current information, lack of knowledge and the presentation of the problem that needs investigation. The next step is to develop research questions. The research question should arise from the research topic selected and statement of the research problem. For this purpose, for this purpose the researcher should read the relevant literature in journals, literature reviews, overview and spotting interesting conceptual developments. The researcher should attend conferences. The researcher can also look for calls for papers of different journals in his or her area research area. He or she can also develop a dialogue with other researchers in their area. The researcher should narrow down the selected topic and should brainstorm the ideas around it. Moreover, the researcher should start with a general focus question and then move on to more specific one. For this purpose, the researcher should follow general to specific approach. Next step is to develop some research hypothesis. A hypothesis states the predictions about what a researcher will find. Once the research questions are finalized, next step is to develop research hypothesis. Research hypothesis development is one of the essential elements of research. A researcher should develop research hypothesis based on the research questions considering the existing theoretical and empirical literature. Moreover, it is very important for the researchers to develop research hypotheses that are simple, 
but reliable and justifiable enough. In addition, the research hypothesis should be precise about their results. It should be written in a self-explanatory manner or if a researcher develops a rational hypothesis, he or she should specify the variables and appropriate relationship between these variables. Moreover, moreover it should reflect the scope of, for further studies or analysis. In the next step, the researcher should set objectives to test the hypothesis developed. The research objectives should be smart. For example, the topic, the objective should be specific. The researcher should make sure that the objectives are not vague, rather they must be specific and clear. The researcher should know how he, she will measure whether objectives have been achieved. Moreover, research objectives may be challenging, but they should be feasible and achievable. It should be made sure that the objectives directly address the research problem the researcher wants to work on or the research objective should contribute to the current state of research in your mind. In addition, it must be time-based. It means clear deadlines should be set to keep the research project on track. It will help timely completion of research. Moreover, the researcher should use action verbs while writing their objectives. The action verbs should be used such as assess, determine, calculate, compare, explain, and describe. Use of, use of action verbs while writing research object, objectives will strengthen the research objectives. In this video, we discussed after the selection of research topic, what are the steps that a researcher should follow to reach to the materials and methods section. Before uh, start of writing materials and methods section, the author should work on uh, background, research statement, research questions, research hypothesis, and research objectives of the study. In the next video, we will discuss how to write the materials and methods in the research article. Please subscribe the channel and press bell icon for the updates of new videos. Thank you.